why is it that we have this constant idea of a bunch of tiny things adding up to a bigger thing? That's my question. This might seem like a really uninteresting question at first, but I think it's really relevant because if we think back to Democritus, to this guy who was like, you know, in, in the club, who everyone was like, lame, tiny dot, that's way more boring than Empedocles with his really cool earth, fire, water, and air, nailed at that time. Because the idea, if you're looking around at your life around you, yes, he lived before Aristotle, but I'm sure even back then in Greek times, he could understand the idea that a bunch of tiny things add up to a bigger thing, right? If you're living in the Greek times when everyone's naked and stuff, you look down at your very, very small amount of clothing and you can see the little threads. You can go, all these little threads make a, a big piece of, not so big back then, but a, a small cloth that I drape over myself and call clothing, right? Look in the Pantheon, you're like, this is a bunch of small little stones that make up a really big thing. Uh, and I, I don't understand why you wouldn't look around you and go, and go, you know, okay, all these tiny little thing, all these, you know, this table right here, the, the, the paints, whatever you want to look at, this must also at some level be made up of tiny little things. 